You know, I am duly convinced that Microsoft does not want you to have any fun with your email at all. This is due to the fact that there is no stationary in Windows Live Mail 2011, which is what I am using right here. Uh, no stationary. And when composing an email, I couldn't even find a way to change the background color. Well, there's this. This, but that's a text highlight color and email used to be so much more fun anyway okay yeah <sighs> this video is about adding in a an image to an email signature now I tried now you know if you've been watching this channel I've done several videos on this from version to version to version of Windows Live Mail and in each version it gets more and more difficult to do. This is the most difficult yet because it requires manual coding and you'll see what I mean by that in a moment. And if I sound annoyed, I am annoyed. Not at you because you're watching this and you're cool, but I'm mad at Microsoft for just having to do this. The, the, what I'm about to show you just to get a stupid signet uh, stupid image in your email signature so with that said here we go now the first thing we need to do is we need to get an image so one of the easiest ways to do that is from Google images now if you want to use an image that you already have that's fine I need to get one so let's uh, stupid and uh, there's Homer in his underwear that looks pretty good so I have an image here I will right click and save picture as. Now I do suggest saving this to the pictures library in Windows Vista or 7 just to make this uh, convenient and simple. You'll see your library shortcut on the left side here by default. Just click on pictures and then rename the file to something small if it happens to be some ginormous name. So I'm just gonna call this one Homer and uh, .jpg. Oops, G. So it is a JPEG file, so I will name it homer.jpg and uh, remember that because we'll be getting back to it in a second and hit save. Okay, so now I'm going to use Homer in his underwear as uh, my email signature. Now ordinarily, you would not use an image this huge. You would use something much smaller than this, but just for the sake of this video, I want you to see it. So there you go, now you see it. Okay. Now, uh, what we need to do is we need to manually launch Notepad and then manually type in the code for the image call and then save it and then use that as a signature. So I already have, uh, let me get rid of this, I already have Notepad open and I purposely have the text really huge so you can see it in this video. And when you look at this, yes, this is direct H HTML coding absolutely true using the markup language but I could find absolutely no other way to put a signature with an image for email in Windows Live Mail I have to do it this way and I apologize that I have to make you go through this I really do because you shouldn't uh, anyway here we go so less than IMG for image space SRC for source equals and uh, this is the way I do it, and I recommend you do it this way too, just to know where you are. Quote, quote, meaning uh, double quote, double quote, and a greater than sign. So now what we have to do is fill in the space between the quotes. F-I-L-E, the word file, colon, three forward slashes, one, two, three. Now we need to type in the location of the file which happens to be in the pictures folder that we just saved a moment ago. So I'm going to type C colon. Now you would ordinarily type backslash here, but since this is HTML, it has to be all forward slashes. It's very easy to make the mistake to do this instead of the proper way, which is this. Remember, this is the slash that is your question mark key. Okay, C colon backslash. Uh, let's see, users. I think it's users. Hold on one second. 
I have to check. User profile. Yes, users, plural. Okay. Users forward slash your Windows username, whatever that may be. Bear in mind how, um, that you, it is not case sensitive. So if you want to type it as this or this or this, it doesn't matter. Just keep it in lowercase to be simple. Okay, slash username slash pictures slash homer dot jpg. Right. Okay. So there's the whole thing. We have image source is the file. I'll highlight that so you can see it better. Image source is uh, a file in this location. And you have to type it exactly as such. Or else it will not work and you'll see a little box with a red X in it. And that would be bad. So we do a file save as. And I'm also going to put this in the pictures folder just so everything is where it's supposed to be. The save is type by default is in Notepad is TXT, so I'm going to change that to all files and change it to. Um, I already have one book from before, but I'm going to name it the same thing. It's just sig.html. Uh, sig.htm for a hypertext markup. And type it exactly as such, which is simple. And save. I'm going to get an overwrite message. You wouldn't, because this would be the first time you're doing this. And say yes. So now it is saved. I'm going to leave this open for the time being and get back to it because I'll be doing some modifications in a moment. So anyway, back to Windows Live Mail. Okay. Click this. The reason I say this is because I don't even know what to call this. This is not a start button. This is, uh, I guess, menu. Okay, so click menu, whatever this thing is called. Options, then go mail. That, by the way, that's another thing that's stupid. I just want to point out. I go down, down, up. <laughs> Uh, this client is ridiculous. Okay, signatures tab, new button, signature one, you can rename this if you want, I don't bother. And then click on file, browse, and click on under libraries pictures. Now by default it is TXT, so again we have to drop this down and select HTML files. Ah, SIG, there it is. Double click. So now it is going to use SIG apply okay now we're not quite done yet because in the options you should compose in HTML by default or else you're not going to see it the vast majority of you I'm looking for it right now the vast majority of you are using there we go HTML and uh, by default and you probably do not have plain text selected so just make sure that under the send tab you have the mail sending format as HTML and not plain text because if it's plain text it won't work and I think yeah that's it I don't think there's anything else here I have to look at that should be it okay compose a new message it didn't work why didn't it work I remember why menu options mail signatures I forgot to check this box add signatures to all outgoing messages don't add signatures to replies and forwards I'm gonna uncheck that because I want to annoy people by always having a, an image in my signature apply OK now let's try hey there's Homer sweet so this is a test mail I will send it to myself using an email address I don't use as a test test to me and sent and it sent did it attach the file yes it did because it's 54k in size go to the inbox we'll do a send receive and you'll also see it did there's an attachment to this email that's the image so it did attach the file cool now we'll modify this signature a bit using some stuff you may want to do yourself to give your signature a little more flair, if you will. So I'll do something real simple here. Um, first I will add a line which is less than HR, greater than, which means horizontal rule, meaning a straight line, straight horizontal line going from left to right. And uh, then I will put my name, so and make the font slightly bigger. So I will do 
less than font space size equals plus one greater than and I'll also make this bold less than B for bold greater than my name less than uh, forward slash B greater than this is how to uh, for those of you that don't know HTML, if you're, if you're going to do simple HTML, you, you start it like this, and for most of the markup language, you end it like this. So this is open, and this is close, sort of, kind of. And we also have to end the font because we use that. So uh, less than, forward slash, font, greater than. And then BR, which means break, which means go down one line. And then I will type uh, email colon the email address I don't use. Enter break Facebook. Uh, this is my Facebook fan page. Yeah, and that should about do it. And I also want the image to be on top, so I will highlight, edit, cut. I will put it one line below the horizontal rule and paste and I will also add a break so this is what's going to happen a line the image a break my name a break this text a break and this text so file save and go back and we will do a new message and okay there's the line there's the image and there's my other stuff that I just put in here so it bolded it and punched it up one plus one font size and then ended it and went back to normal size and then I can go ahead and say test two to me test two to me send check to sent it sent it slightly larger because there's more text in it. Send receive and take a look. Yay! Alright, it worked. And uh, we'll also check this on the website. So I'll go to hotmail.com and actually log in with this account just to check it out. See how it looks. It's going to look probably slightly different. Alright, let's check the first one. Test mail. Yep looks good go back in here and there's the second one oh actually it looks just the same which that's good <laughs> so it looked the same as it did in Windows Live Mail 2011 as it did in the actual Hotmail interface on the web so there you go in a nutshell that's it um, on a final note here you can in options by the way when you're in the signatures part of it go to the is it can I do this? Signature one. Yeah, I can do this from here. Let's just say, for example, I had multiple email accounts in here, and I wanted to have separate signatures per each email account. That is actually done from advance. So I have signature one here, which I will rename to Homer in his underwear and I will do a new signature uh, let's see, called stupid Windows Live Mail 2011 is stupid so there we go, I have stupid and Homer in his underwear now if I go to, uh, now stupid happens to have a text just a text based signature and Homer in his underwear uses this uh, HTML file, if I want to have it different per account I can go to advanced now and I can choose which one applies to which so if I do this one and do advanced and say check the accounts for which you would like signature to use to use signature stupid only one signature may be selected for an account and accounts with no signature will use the default signature so if I had multiple email accounts I can go to advanced and if I had more email accounts I just check off the ones I want to use and that's that but we'll just keep this one and every time I compose an email message we will see uh, Homer being stupid 
So there you go. That is how to put an image into a Windows Live Mail 2011 email signature. Again, I apologize for this being so exceedingly difficult, but unfortunately, this is the easiest way.